Hello everyone, welcome back to Chinda DIY. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a hat cut out top. It is really easy pattern and friendly for beginners. For this top, I'm using the ribbing stitch, so it's really stretching. You don't have to worry about difficult to wear and take it off. For this top, I make for size small, but I also showing you how to make it bigger and how to measuring on your body. Okay, now let's get into the video. First thing first, we are going to make the front part of the top. For this top, we are working on the length way, so the number of the foundation chains is the height of the top. To begin, make a slip knot. And chain 83, it is equal 15 inches length. If you guys want your top more longer, please add more chains. After you got your desired length, next we are going to make the ribbing stitch. To begin, for row 1, skip 1 chain and make slip stitch into the next chain. To make slip stitch, please pull this yarn on the hook a little bit loose, then insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Please use stitch marker to mark at this first stitch. And next, keep making slip stitch into every chain until you got 14 stitches of slip stitch. Remember when you make slip stitch, please make it a little bit loose so it is easy to insert the hook for the next row. After you got 14 stitches of slip stitch, next we are going to make half the bokeh shade into the next stitch. To make half the bokeh shade, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. Keep making half the bokeh shade into every chain until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. Next, for row 2, chain 1, turn your work. For chain 1, we don't count as a stitch. Then we are going to make slip stitch but into the back loop of the stitch only. Instead of insert the hook into this both loop, we only insert the hook into this back loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Don't forget to use stitch marker to mark at this first stitch. It is easy to know where your first or the last stitch is. 
keep making slip stitch back loop only into every stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, and this is what the second row looks like. Next, for row 3, chain 1, turn your work, and make slip stitch back loop only into the next 14 stitches. Then we meet you back again. After you got 14 stitches of slip stitch back loop only, then we are going to make half the bokeh shade but into the back loop of the stitch only. making half the bokeh shade back loop only into every stitch until you reach the end of the row then I will meet you back again For the next next row, please keep repeating row 2 and row 3 until you reach row 16. It means that you are going to make one row of slip stitch back loop only and one row with half the bokeh shade back loop only. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 16. 
For the measurement of the 16 rows, it is equal 4 inches width. It's the measurement of my shoulder. And this is how you measuring it on your body. Place it on your shoulder. And if it's still small, please add more rows by the pit row 2 and row 3 until you reach your shoulder measurement. And next, we are going to make the round neckline. To begin, count 8 stitches and use stitch marker to mark at the 9th stitch. It is equal 1.5 inches. If you guys want your neckline more deeper, you can count more stitches and mark it. And next, continue from where your last stitch is for row 17, chain 1, turn your work, and make slip stitch back loop only into the next 14 stitches. And next, continue make half the bulk of shape back loop only into 8 stitch until you have 2 last stitches from the stitch marker. Then I will meet you back again. And after you got two last stitches from the stitch marker, next we are going to make the crease by make half the bulk shade two together. To make half the bulk shade two together, yarn over, insert the hook into the back loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have three loops on your hook. Then continue insert the hook into the next back loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have 4 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. And this is how we make half the bulk of shade decrease. Next, for row 18, chain 1, turn your work, skip 1 stitch, and make slip stitch back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, for the next next row, please keep repeating row 17 and row 18 until you reach row 22. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 22. You must have 6 rows of decreasing stitch. And next, we are going to make the V shape of the heart. To begin, count 14 stitches and use stitch marker to mark at the 15th stitch. So we are going to make the V part of the heart from the stitch marker. For row 23 until row 28, we are going to repeat row 17 and row 18. It means that you are going to make the crease like the neckline part for 6 rows. Okay. 
As you can see, after we had two last stitches from the stitch marker, then we are going to make half double crochet decrease. And then for the next row, chain 1, turn your work, skip 1 stitch, and make slip stitch into every stitch until the end of the row. And for the next next row, you just keep repeating these two rows until you reach row 28. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 28. You must have 6 rows of decreasing stitch. It's not included with the neckline part. And for you guys that use one color, you don't have to chain one and cut off the yarn. And for you guys that use two color, you can chain one and cut off the yarn. And next, we are going to change the color. So turn your work. And then attach the yarn into the back loop of the first stitch. Next, for row 1, chain 1. For this dark pink side, I'm start counting from row 1 again. And next, make slip stitch back loop only into the same stitch with chain 1. Keep making slip stitch back loop only into every stitch until you got 14 stitches of slip stitch back loop only. Then I will meet you back again. After you got 14 stitches of slip stitch back loop only, then we are going to make half double crochet back loop only into every stitch until you have one last stitch. Then I will meet you back again. After you have one last stitch, then we are going to make increase by make two half double crochet into the same loop. After you got two half double crochet in the same loop, next for row two, chain one, turn your work. Then we are going to make slip stitch increase by make two slip stitch in the same loop. After you got two slip stitch in the same loop, then continue make slip stitch back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, for the next next row, please keep repeating row 1 and row 2 until you reach row 6, then I will meet you back again.
And this is what it looks like after you reach row 6. You must have 6 rows of increasing stitch. It's the same number like decreasing part. And now you can see the V shape of the heart. After you reach row 6, you can leave this yarn here. And then we are going to start making the curved part of the heart. We are going to start with the light pink. To begin, count 5 stitches from the stitch marker. Then attach the yarn into the back loop of the 6th stitch. Next, for row 1, chain 1. For chain 1, we don't count as a stitch. Then make half the bulk of shape back loop only into the same stitch with chain 1. Keep making half the bulk of shape back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, and this is what it looks like. Next, for row 2, chain 1, turn your work, and make slip stitch back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. Next, for row 3, chain 2. For chain 2, we don't count as a stitch. Turn your work. Then make half the bulk of shape back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 3. Next, for row 4, chain 1, turn your work. And make slip stitch back loop only into every stitch until you have one last stitch. Then we are going to make increase. After you have one last stitch, then make slip stitch increase by make 2 slip stitch in the same loop. Next, for row 5, chain 2, turn your work and make increase by make 2 half the bulk of shade in the same loop. After you got 2 half the bulk of shade in the same loop, then continue make half the bulk of shade back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Next, for row 6, please repeat row 4. After you reach the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And this is what it looks like. You must have 6 rows. It's the same number like the bottom part, which is the V-shaped part. Next, we are going to make the other half shape of the heart by switch the color into the dark pink. To begin, turn your work and attach the yarn into the back loop of the first stitch. Next, 
Next, for row 1, chain 1, skip 1 stitch that you had attached the yarn and start making half the bow crochet back loop only into the next stitch. Keep making half the bow crochet back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row. Next, for row 2, chain 1, turn your work and make slip stitch back loop only into every stitch until you have 2 last stitches. Then I will meet you back again. After you had two last stitches, then we are going to make decrease by make slip stitch two together. To make slip stitch two together, insert the hook into the back loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then continue insert the hook into the next back loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. And this is how we make slip stitch decrease. Next, for row 3, chain 1, turn your work. Skip 1 stitch that near chain 1 and make half the bow crochet back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 3. You must have 3 rows of decreasing stitch. It's the same number like the other side that we made 3 rows of increasing stitch. Next, for row 4 until row 6, you just make no more rows of the ribbing stitch. No decrease. And now you must have 6 rows like the other side. And it's also the same number like the bottom part. So for this part, we skip 5 stitches, right? 
So for the other side, you have to continue at five chains. Then add one more chain and cut it off. Pull the yarn tight and now you must have five chains. For this chain, we are going to connect it later. Next, we are going to continue from this row set. For row 7, chain 1, turn your work and make 14 slip stitch back loop only. Then make half the bulk of shape back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. After you reach the end of the row, then we are going to continue make half the bulk of shape into the foundation chain that we made 5 chains. Yarn over, insert the hook into this first chain. Yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all 3 loops. For this remaining yarn, you can use the needle doll to weave in and secure it underneath the other row. Next, continue make half the bulk of shade into every chain and into every back loop of the stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row. Next, we are going to make the neckline. So for the first side, we make decrease for 6 rows. And for the second side, we are going to make increase for 6 rows by repeating the same thing like we did at the V part of the heart. So for the end of this row, you have to add one more stitch into this last stitch. And now you must have two stitches in the same loop, it's the increasing stitch. Next, for row 8, chain 1, turn your work and make slip stitch increase by make two slip stitch in the same loop. Then continue make slip stitch back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. And for the next next row, you just keep increasing by repeat row 1 and row 2 that we did at the V part of the heart until you reach row 11, then we meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 11. You must have 5 rows of increasing stitch after you reach the 5th row which is the half the bulk shade row. Next, we are going to make the shoulder part. So for this first shoulder part, we skip 8 stitches. And for the other side, continue from row 11, you have to add 8 chains. And then add one more chain, it is for the slip stitch row, which is we are going to make increase. And then add one more chain, it is for the turning chain. In total, you must have 10 chains. Next, for row 12, turn your work, skip one chain, and make slip stitch into the next 9 chains. 
then I will meet you back again. And now you must have 9 stitches of slip stitch. Like I said, we have 1 stitch over because we have to make slip stitch increase here. But instead of make slip stitch increase, you just add 1 more chain. Next, continue make slip stitch back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, and now as you can see, we have 6 rows of increasing stitch. It's the same number like decreasing size. And for the next next row, you just make the straight row of the ribbing stitch, no increase or decrease. Start from row 13 until row 28, you just repeat 1 row with half the bow crochet back loop only and 1 row with slip stitch back loop only until you reach row 28, then I will meet you back again. And after you reach row 28, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. In total, you must have 56 rows. And for the shoulder part, you must have 16 rows. It's the same number like the other side. And now the front part of the top is done. As you can see, this stitch is really stretching. If you crochet it tight, it will look small and short. And if you crochet it loose, it will look longer and bigger. So be careful with your crochet tension. And next, for the back part of the top, you just repeat the same thing like the front part but without a heart shape. You just make 83 chains the same and make 16 rows for the shoulder part. Then make decrease for 6 rows, it falls the neckline. And then make the normal rows of the ribbing stitch, no increase or decrease for 12 rows. It is for the middle part of the neckline. And if you use two colors, you just change the color the same like we did at the front part. And then we are going to increase for 5 rows. And after you got 5 rows of increase, then continue at 10 chains like we did at the front part. It is to build up for making the shoulder part. And also for the shoulder part, you have to make 16 rows the same like the first side. And next, turn your top wrong side out. Then we are going to attach both shoulder part together. To begin, attach the yarn into both sides loop. Then chain 1 and make single crochet both sides together. To make single crochet both sides together, insert the hook into both sides loop. Yarn over and pull through both loops. And now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all two loops. Keep making single crochet both sides together into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again.
after you reach the end of the row then chain one and cut off the yarn and this is what the wrong side looks like and this is what the right side looks like and next please repeat the same thing to the other side and now we are done connecting the shoulder part together next turn your top right side out And then we are going to make single crochet around this heart shape as the border. To begin, turn your top. We are start working from the upper part. Attach the yarn into the first stitch of the dark pink, which is the middle part. Then chain 1. And make single crochet into the same stitch with chain 1. Keep making single crochet into every stitch around until you reach the middle part of the V shape. Then we meet you back again. After you had one last stitch from the middle part of the V shape, then we are going to change the color. After you have two loops on your hook, then cut off the yarn and bring the light pink. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And then you just continue make single crochet into every stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again.
After you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch into the first stitch Chain 1 and cut off the yarn And this is what it looks like Next, I'm use the white yarn to outline the heart shape to begin attach the yarn into the middle part, which is where we make slip stitch. And then chain 1 and make single crochet into the same stitch with chain 1. After you have made a single crochet, then make slip stitch into the next stitch Keep making slip stitch into every stitch around until you have one last stitch Then I will meet you back again After you had one last stitch, then make single crochet into that last stitch And next, continue make slip stitch into the first stitch Then chain 1 and cut off the yarn And now we are done and this is what it looks like And next, we are going to connect this side of the top And we are going to continue make the sleeves To begin, turn your top wrong side out Then cancel the two stitches away from the shoulder part And use stitch marker to mark at the 33 stitch for my arm circumference, it is equal 13 inches If you guys want your arm hole more bigger, you can count more stitches and mark it And next, count the same number to the other side And now we are going to start working from the bottom part of the top To begin, attach the yarn into both sides loop Then chain 1 and make single crochet both sides together into every stitch until you reach the stitch marker Then I will meet you back again
and this is what it looks like after you reach the stitch marker next turn your top right side out and we are going to make the sleeves to begin for row 1, chain 1 like I said for chain 1 we don't count as a stitch then make single crochet into 8 stitch around the armhole until you reach the end of the row then I will meet you back again After you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make slip stitch into the first stitch. After you had made slip stitch, and this is what it looks like. Next, for row 2, chain 2. For chain 2, we don't count as a stitch, then turn your work and make half double crochet back loop only into every stitch around until the end of the row then make slip stitch After you reach the end of the row, remember for the small loop that needs chain 2, we don't count as a stitch, we are going to skip it. Then continue make slip stitch into the first half double crochet stitch. You can count the number of the stitch to make sure that you don't miss any stitch or got over stitch. Next, for row 3, chain 1, turn your work and make slip stitch back loop only into every stitch around until the end of the row then make slip stitch to connect the row After you reach the end of the row, for the next next row, please keep repeating row 2 and row 3. It means that you have to make one row with half the burger shape back loop only and one row with slip stitch back loop only until you reach row 8. Then I will meet you back again.
and this is what it looks like after you reach row 8. For you guys that want to make longer sleeves, please add more rows by repeat row 2 and row 3 until you reach your desired length. And next, we are going to make the ribbing stitch around the sleeves. To begin, continue from where your last stitch is and make 6 chains. If you guys want your ribbing stitch more higher, please add more chains. After you got 6 chains, then we are going to make slip stitch. For row 1, skip 1 chain and make slip stitch into every chain until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, you must have 5 stitches of slip stitch. Next, we are going to continue make slip stitch into the half double crochet stitch. After you had made a slip stitch, then make one more slip stitch into the next stitch. And after you had made two slip stitch into the half double crochet row, next for row 2 turn your work, skip 2 stitches, and make slip stitch back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. Next, for row 3, chain 1, turn your work. And make slip stitch back loop only into every stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches of half the bokeh shade. After you had made slip stitch into the half the bokeh shade row, and this is what it looks like. For the next next row, please keep repeating row 2 and row 3 into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row. Next, turn your sleeves wrong side out. Then we are going to insert the hook into this first loop. And pull the yarn through the loop. Then chain 1 and we are going to make single crochet both sides together into 8 stitch until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And 
this is what the right side looks like. Next, please repeat the same thing to the other side. And now we are done for the sleeves. Next, we are going to make single crochet around the neckline as the border. To begin, turn your top to the back part and attach the yarn into the middle part. Then chain 1 and make single crochet into every stitch around until you reach the front middle part. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the front middle part, then we are going to switch the color and continue make single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. After you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we are going to make the ribbon panel around the neckline. Attach the yarn into the middle part and chain 7. If you guys want the ribbon part more higher, you can add more chains. And then we are going to make the ripping stitch by repeat the same thing like we did at the sleeves. Then I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then you just turn the ripping stitch wrong side out and make single crochet both sides together, chain one and cut off the yarn. For the remaining yarn, please use the needle to weave in. And now the hard cut out top is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.